I've been experimenting with a program called TopMod and well I say experimenting I've been crashing a program called TopMod quite a bit and watching tutorials and I saw a shape in a tutorial that I thought I'd like to try and recreate but doing in Wings 3D so start with a cube so that's right click to bring up this menu and click on cube and then select one of the faces just left click press I for identical right click and select inset hold the control key down and select 70 percent so if you look at the top left there you'll see where the value is the next trick is to bring these uh, highlighted centers to all the way through the shape so they join so I'm going to intrude the shape and it holding the control key down again you want uh, I'm just using the mouse now to adjust this figure not 0.7 and that will mean that all the corners meet together inside there now I would normally clean this shape up at this point but there's one more thing we can do um, and then we can clean it up all in one go so select edge select press space to deselect everything select one of these outer edges press G I think that's an edge ring or something like that and then press I and then C to cut those and that gives us this shape and right click and bevel so you can see now it's created these crosses on each side now that will have created lots of multiple corners so select the entire object right click and clean up and that will combine those multiple corners together and turn them into one corner right the next thing uh, is to select a triangle on the face mode here press I for identical right click and intrude the shape just a bit it doesn't really matter how much and then select the entire shape and press S to smooth and S to smooth again you see you get this nice shape which is sort of a cube shape but with tunnels through it and then to make things a little bit more interesting I'm going to use the edge select and select an edge here and an edge here press L for loop so you can see these loops go over one another then press I for identical and go to space select now I've got all the faces that were connected with those loops and then right click and I'm going to shell extrude those so that will form lots of separate rings and you can see them appear here on the right hand side so I want all these things to be combined together so select all those together with uh, the entire shape selection right click and combine them I can now smooth them so I press S once twice and then I'll select my main shape so I press space to deselect everything then entire object main shape on the inside uh, if I just hit delete it now let's see um, you can see how these rings interconnect which I thought was quite interesting I'll bring the shape back by pressing Control Z and then press smooth once and twice press space to deselect everything and now we're ready to export that for rendering in either Bryce or Octane or whatever you fancy rendering it in when your render engine of your choice so you just go file export export object now if I wanted to assign it sometimes you want to be able to pick out different materials now Bryce is quite capable of recognizing two separate objects but sometimes if you've got a, a lot of objects uh, if they if Bryce doesn't recognize it but you can d you can subdivide things by material sometimes so if I select this object and right click and um, go to the face mode and right click and choose material and right click on that I can go uh, rings okay and I'll make them material it's probably a good idea not to choose the color that's uh, how do I change the diffuse color I'll click on that blob yeah don't, don't make it red because red's the selected in wings so that makes it just a bit confusing so I've made that a blue color and then this other one's default so if I just export that it'll allow me to pick those apart by material in uh, in octane I don't know whether Bryce recognizes uh, that difference in materials but uh, it certainly affects octane's ability to pick things out so where was I was exporting file export object wait for an object format and call this uh, wings thing with loops and then you just need to watch this uh, bar at the bottom because it, it fills up quite quickly and then at the very end it goes very slowly and then until it's fully exported you can't import that into anything else it'll actually just arrive in a corrupted form and they'll be missing bits of the model but uh, we can see now once the the blue bars disappeared it's fully exported I suppose that's the end of the video so hope you found that interesting and that you'll have a go at modeling this in Wings 3D and then rendering it in the render software of your choice